So, so a couple of months ago, right? Yeah, it was we a did. Months. We did this whole budget bourbons reviews. Remember that? Oh, of course. Because the one thing we didn't do is talk about what was the best budget bourbon. Yeah, you know, I think that we missed something there when we uh, right, right. didn't kind of complete the thought. So I thought today we would do a best budget bourbon blind comparison and decide. Which is the best from the budgeted blinds. So today on Hold My Whiskey, we will do this. Right after this. Welcome to Hold My Whiskey. I'm Zane. And I'm Jeff. So today, we've already said what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a best budget or budget bourbon blind. Budget. Tasting. Bourbon. Blanton's. Budget. budget. <laughs> so now here. There's no budget Blanton's in this budgeted blind of bourbon. Can you say that 10 times fast? I don't even know what I said. Yeah, I know. So instead of doing like these fancy Glen Karen glasses, this is budget bourbon. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, somewhere around the $20 range. The glorification, which is the solo cup. Now, some of these may be around 20 to 30, so I think what we'll do first, we'll go through what the whiskeys are that's laid out here. We don't know what they are. We as don't, far yeah, as we, Individually, we don't know. We don't know what these are. They are truly blind because we even put them in little mini shot glass solo cups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go through. So okay. let's go through. So one of the bottles that's in here is Old Granddad Ball and Bond. Yep. It's a 63% corn, 27% rye, 100 or 10% malted barley, 100 proof. Yeah, you see this one around everywhere on the bottom. Shelf. I mean, we try to pick those or whiskeys that you can mm -hmm. get. Yeah. Uh, Old Overholt Rye Whiskey is in here. That is a 100 proof, at least 51% rye. Yeah, and they all have history. Oh yeah, each one of these is a Just because they're budget, not meaning that they're shite. It no. means that, they're, that most of these actually have a lot of I think most of these, we thought they were pretty decent budget whiskeys to yeah, begin with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, so the next one would be Jim Beam Bonded. Yes. Now, this is 100 proof, 77% corn, 13% rye, 10% malted barley. That's right. Uh, the other one in here, we've got a little Evan Williams 100. Which makes lava donuts. That's right, which is 100 proof, 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley. And then we have, you know, the thing that is the benchmark, the standard. The benchmark number eight. Which is the benchmark. Now, <laughs> it's aged at least three years. It's 80 proof. This, what we hear, because nobody really knows, is Buffalo Trace's Mash Bill 1. You might be familiar with that because that is how Buffalo Trace itself is made, Old Charter, Stag, Eagle Rare, and even Taylor. George Stag is hella good. So now another recent is the Jim Beam Old Tub. Yes. That's in here as well. It's 100 proof, 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley. And to finish it off, one of the most recent purchases from Zasarac, same guys who yeah. own Buffalo Trace. That's right. Is Early Times, which is quickly becoming a crowd favorite. It runs around $22 for a liter. And I, I, I tell you, it's, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty good. And it's coming in at around a 79% corn, 11% rye, 10% malted barley. So there you go, that mall. Seven barley. budget whiskeys. Are we going to be able to honestly drink this and be honestly opinionated we're gonna honestly try <laughs> yeah we're gonna honestly try so now they're laid out as a b c d e f g okay so yes. we'll start at the end work our way toward the middle let's do it and when you find one that you like we've had a couple you like i really like this one better already we'll just kind of slide that one slightly okay. forward eventually we're gonna work it down to the best budget bourbon to our opinion our opinion which, which, is, which only matters because we're what we're not experts. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's start with the first one, A. All right, let's do A. Now, only sip it, because we'll have to reset. You know, let's listen to smell it. What are you getting out of that? You know, I'm getting a little bit of caramel, right? Caramel, vanilla. All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's really good. Now, it's definitely spicy. I would dare say it's gotta that's be a, that's... 100 proof for sure, right? Getting a little bit of notes of caramel. Oakiness. A little bit of oakiness. Um, a little peppery, but really short finish. Short finish. I'm mean, gonna have to go ahead and grab more now, right now. Yeah, well, we're not gonna do that. But yeah. right, let's go. All right, so let's go. We got B. B. Right. Let's smell this one. Ooh, softer than the first one, Very right? Softer. Subtle, subtle smell. Oh, not as spicy. No. 
a little oaky. Really, everything is subtle in this. So I feel like um, standard bourbons there, the vanilla, a little strong in the vanilla, actually. Almost kind of toasty, buttery. I'm about as boring as you get because I'm really trying to dissect that. You are, I'm right? Like, what are you getting? What are you getting? I'm not sure. I'm already confused on what number I'm on. You're on B. Oh, You're on B. I'm B. I feel like I like the A more already. Yeah, I think I like the A more. I'm just going to kind of slightly move it just a little bit forward. Just, just to kind of know it's... Just a smidge. Just a smidge. I'm going to okay. jump to C. Let's do C. All right. I ain't smelling shit. What's wrong with my nose? It's tough, right? Yeah. No, there, there's not a lot in there. We're like half an ounce in these, so... Alright, I'm gonna have to taste it. Oh, a lot of corn in this one. Strong on the corn on the front of this. Really strong. God damn. I mean, I almost, almost feel like we're jumping into mellow corn there, right? And I know mellow corn is not on yeah, this. Yeah, I'm. Very strong on the corn. I'm not into that. I mean, I'm telling like. It's definitely, like, it's definitely more than. It's like peanut 50, buttery. Yeah, it's definitely more than 51% corn. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's about as spicy as that first one. Yeah, well. I feel like that's a, it's gotta be 100 proof. That's my problem, is because I've drank so much hot stuff mm -hmm. that that's not registering. All right, I'm gonna drink a little bit of water to wash that one down. Mm -hmm, I don't wanna. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind of reset the reset the whole whole factories on this. Let's go to D. All right, let's do D. D. All right, let's go. Ooh, Ooh sweet! Right on the smell, right? Yeah, Super good. sweet, almost like candy. Very oaky, right? That's good. A little spicy on the front. A little peppery. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Doesn't taste like hundred proof. That that that's beating A right now. I'm moving that ahead of A. I'm not sure yet, but you know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it a little a nudge. I, I actually, I'm just gonna put it out there so I can kind of. I want to know what's out there. You know, recently we just talked about in one of our episodes how to drink whiskey that you should not drink out of a solo cup. Uh -huh. This is the one time it might be excusable. Look, I'm just gonna throw this out there. There's no wrong way to drink whiskey. That's true. That's There's true. just You're a right. wrong way to. Uh, Enjoy how, it. Yeah, how? Well, I'm just, <laughs> there's always a too much. And just because I said, drink all the whiskey. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> hey, look, I don't remember that day. We know. Should we like show the viewers what they might have missed so they can go back and watch it? I thought this is Clearly a Clearly there's a right way to drink whiskey. Now, and it's honestly to recap it. for Cornelia too, like. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember anything about that because I was drinking everybody's whiskey that day and you know i'm not that big of a dude <laughs> what well, does tie the room together though <laughs> does it not <laughs> all right let's move on to e now this one's a little lighter again right yeah but i'm getting a lot of caramel butterscotchy toffee go i'm gonna go in on this one go ahead yeah i'm catching the apple oh yeah yeah you really get it when you taste it Apple on the palate. Not real spicy though, right? Not real spicy. It's kind of on the low end of the spice. Like, and I think because of that, it, it's kind of not as good to me. Super mild. It's too watery to me. It's it's not bad. I'm not saying that. I'm no, just... all right, all right. Now, have you had a budget bourbon recently that you just love? Is there something that you're grabbing on the shelf? And like, man, that's just really good. It's 20 bucks, I don't care. Yeah, I keep it on my in my cabinet. I mean, we've got some twenty dollars bottles we got sitting around all the time. Uh, right? You know, I have the old overhold. That, yeah, that's good stuff. That right? I just, I, I'm sure it's sitting here somewhere. Yeah, it's in but, here somewhere. But it's, it's good, and it's one of those things like mm. for the budget, it's really hard to beat that. And that's why we call it budget whiskey instead of cheap whiskey because it's not that it's bad whiskey. It's just cheaper than it's the other. It's easier ones. on the wallet for the value you get for the flavors that are there. We're, we're basically saying that this is just whiskey that's good and then break the bank at the same time. Yeah, that's right. To go into F, I like the smell. Man, they didn't give me very much in this one. What the F? What the actual? Ooh. Oh. I, a lot of weird oak going on and there, And the right? finish is so fast, I had a hard time. It's like boom, right? It it's like yeah. you just drink that. Man, they didn't give me very much either, so I can't, I'll end up finishing it if I finish what's in there. I'm gonna put this one kind of back. It's not my most favorite. I bet number F's old granddad. <laughs> that doesn't taste like a bottle and bond though. 
I mean, yeah, I probably should watch that in a little bit. While you watch that down, I'm gonna be like... Pinky out. <sighs> See, the, the smells are great. I, I think what it is, I like whiskey. Like, you know what I mean? I, it, it, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, G. What's up, G? Oh, apple. Lots of apple. Mm. This is like an apple. It's a basket of apples. It's apple sauce. I'm gonna let you continue your process and talking. Sure, go ahead. I need to digest what's going on. Pretty sure I didn't like the F. F gets an F as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I can't do this one. I, I, I think that's what the deal is telling me. F is a no-go for me. No-go. F's a no-go. I don't know what the F is, but it's out. It's out. All right. All right, let me go back to, let me go back to G. Go back to the G. I do like that G. That G's moving up a little bit. I'm liking this one, but I'm not feeling it. Is that That's, D? This is D. Do you like the D? I, I, I'm just not feeling the D. You know? Oh, really? I'm gonna have to, Maybe it's not in far enough. I may have to slide it back if you know what I mean. I just, I'll just jump over here to A for a minute. That was one I really kind of liked at the first. Yeah, I, I still am leaning toward that. These are. This is not me taking them back. Seriously, is not me saying their shit. No, no, no. I think we have to. We have to say what we're trying to do is find our favorite out of it, not the one we hate. Mm -hmm. So we're not saying we don't like any of these. What we're saying is I like this one better than the other one. And that one. F's got a lot of corn. Yeah, F's got a lot of corn. See, I thought the the C was the one that had a lot of corn in it. Oh, it definitely does. That I'm still getting that same flavor. I just. I'm gonna take a guess on this one. I need a pen. We got a pen in the studio. Somebody throw me a pen. My guess on C right now, currently, I'm gonna write down what I think C is. I'm not gonna say to you guys what I think it is. I think that is C. Let's go back to D. G's good. You like G? See, G's weird. one of those ones I'm on the fence on. All right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna straight away do this. These are not gonna work for me. All right, I'm pulling D back. D's not working for me either. I'm messing up the world here, aren't I? I'm gonna say C and F are out for me. Those are out for the best. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, okay. We'll come back and bring those out so we can figure out what they are. B, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the D out. Sorry, right, D. Did you, did you drop? Oh, I'm gonna no. drop the D. You dropped the D. Well, let's try G again. You say you're liking G? It, yeah, I mean, yeah. No, with G, there's something different about it, right? There's a little bit of buttery nuts to it, a little yeah. creamy, right? There's a nut to that. Yeah, I, I'm. I mean, it's it's like almost a peanut. butter. This is not a rye. Yeah, it's a peanut butter, right? It's a peanut butter. It's like almost like Reese's. Like, yeah, that's good. I just don't know. You know what's interesting is right now we're getting ready to come down to where we were picking the same three. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try. Let me go to E again. This is the end of E right here. <laughs> What'd you get? Hold up. I'm out on E. Look. E's out. E's out. E is... Man, you know what E is? My guess on E, I'm gonna say it right now. E, I think is... I think E is the damn Evan Williams... White label? White label. It could be. I think I'm bleeding through my nose. I did not think it would roll out this way. <laughs> <laughs> but we both like the, the three the same. So A, B, G right now. A, B, G. I okay, so we're saying G is very peanut buttery yes. nutty, right? And A has let a me, hint of that to me. Let me go to A again. Let's, let's do A. Right, let's see do where A's going to fit. A is now very oaky. And uh, why is it mild to me suddenly? Cherry. I'm getting a lot of oaky, cherry, pit type kind of fruit with it. Yeah, I mean, not enjoying it as much as I did when I first started. I am not, but I can definitely say mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. It's, it's good. good. Um, I would dare say that all three that we've got here in front of us now are really good budget bourbons yeah, for our palate. For sure. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go to B again. All right. I can smell that. That almost. A, 
B is a hundred proof, hands down. It's a hundred proof. I'm moving B ahead of G for the ahead of A for the moment. A is gonna be over here by itself now. Yeah, I. This is G. This is G. Hands down, G is my favorite. G is the one I'm loving, and it, B is the close second. That's where I'm at now. Now I think they wrote on the bottom of the card Did which they? one's which is which. So. When we say, we're gonna say what our first one favorite is, and that's when we'll, we'll flip the card. G's my favorite, but I love peanut butter. I love Reese's, I love that taste. That just seems like something I can really, yeah, see? This is where I'm going right here. I think B's out for me, but it's, it's so me, it's it's G, A, and then B. So we're saying G's our favorite. I think so. G is our number one. Yeah, I think Best so. Best budget bourbon. As stupid as shit as that is, what is on the bottom? Early times. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You know what? I took early times to a good friend of mine's house. Yeah, yeah. And left it there. Yeah, that's a mistake. <laughs> I did. And that doesn't. That's not shocking that we would yeah. go that route. But shit, that I mean, tells you why Zasarak bought that whiskey. I, that's good shit. Now here's the funny thing. Early times is definitely one of the most popular budget whiskeys right now. Damn, I'm surprised. I'm actually Sells for about shocked. twenty three dollars for a one liter. So that makes it less than twenty dollars if you measure it to the seven fifty which I, is normally what it would be. I don't even know what this I, that is unbelievable. Now here's the story on early times. Zasarak bought it. They were about probably four or five years out from having it produced directly Damn. from their distillery because they're moving it to a new distillery. Okay. The worry is will they be able to hold the mash bill? Now there's a lot in stock still available that they're selling. The worry is it's going to become an allocated whiskey because one, it's a Buffalo Trace family, you know, line now. Are we going to get a cork top on this finally? It'd be nice. It's and funny. The tier. Budget, oh. budget whiskey, and it's got a damn corkscrew, right? It, it's, that is shocking. It's, this, this is a hidden gem in the budget whiskey, yeah, and I think a lot whiskey. of people know that. Okay, let's see. B was our next one, right? Or A no, was your a next. A was one. mine, but yours. Was you B. wrote down on A. You thought it was Jim Beam, right? Let's see. It's old. Old Overholt to rise. Yeah. Over. Okay, to be fair, I said I thought it was Jim Beam. You did. I thought it, it is was, a Jim Beam product. I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was the bonded, the yeah. bonded bottle. Yeah. It's because it is a bonded bottle. It is. It's bottle and bond for sure. Both of these are bottle and bond. I I called it, but didn't. Okay, so we're saying sense. right now, those are our ones. Now my number two was B, which ended up being yeah. Old Tub. Old Tub. Now you know what's funny is I've seen a lot of people bashing Old Tub lately on the internet. They're like, hey, it's okay. But this is the stuff that when you went and visited Jim Beam, they were selling this. You could only buy it in the store. And they just recently, in the last couple of years, started selling it, publicized, and everybody's grabbing it. It's a really good whiskey. This is the interesting thing is, first of all, unscripted. But this is completely unscripted. I had no idea we would come down to some of the same shit. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. I thought we'd be sitting here like doing a, we're gonna have to do a battle royale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really won, right? Like uh, an episode two or we something. We picked the best whiskey, both our palate. And this means that we might be spending way too much time together when it comes to drinking whiskey. I don't think so. I am curious about this E. I wrote down Evan Williams, right? It's benchmark. <laughs> Buffalo Trace's mash bill, number one, made with Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, some of the biggest whiskeys, and I'm like, I don't like that one. Yeah, I don't like that shit. <laughs> and then the other one was number C. I put down Old Granddad. Yeah. Mother, it says oh, Old you, Granddad. You called that shit. Nailed it. No. Now, now, to be fair, I haven't had a lot of benchmarks, so I, I can see why I wouldn't understand what that flavor was, but I knew Old Granddad. Yeah. I was like, I know it. We can go back and look. I know it. Yeah. So I'm really curious. We both gave F an F. We said this was the worst whiskey out of those budget bourbons. Yeah. Not that it's a bad whiskey, it's just the least favorite. Which means ass. <laughs> <laughs> so because I tell you how it is, he just sugarcoats it because he wants views. That's true. So what was the worst one? Oh, I... Evan motherfucking Williams. <laughs> that was F! Holy crap, dude! It's not that it's shit. It's just that I think it's shit. <laughs> okay. So now I think we yeah. can say from Whiskey Pop, we can say early times is what we consider the, the best, best budget, whiskey. budget whiskey on the market right now. If you're not buying it, don't. Because if you do, it's gonna be allocated, we won't be able to get our hands on it. Once they put a fucking cork in it, it's over. It's over. It's under a table. We don't want anybody. <laughs> we can sell this in about a year, probably for more than what it's worth. So in the meantime, you guys continue to be cool this week and uh, catch us next week for another Hold My Whiskey. In the meantime, cheers. cheers.